Holmes into custody. He's seen in this video entering the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan with others when agents from Homeland Security Investigations of Sean Diddy Combs was taken into custody as he entered the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan. The video footage shows agents from Homeland Security approaching him, separating him from his entourage, placing him under arrest, and leading him out the front door in handcuffs. Just yesterday, news broke across social media that Cassie filed a lawsuit in New York City against Diddy, claiming she was stuck in a decade-long cycle of abuse. Things took an even darker turn when the celebrity world was thrown into chaos with the revelation that Steve Harvey had started cooperating with the FBI following Diddy's shocking arrest. This news came as a jaw-dropper. Steve Harvey, the king of daytime television, game shows, and self-help books, had been secretly entangled in a web of deceit for years. The rumors suggest that Steve might not have been merely an innocent bystander or victim of Diddy's manipulations. His involvement seems to have begun at one of Diddy's infamous parties, events that were known for their outrageous activities but shrouded in secrecy. People had whispered for years about what might be happening behind the closed doors of Diddy's gatherings. Now the truth is starting to emerge. And the kicker? Steve Harvey, a man who has built his image on family values, faith, and the importance of doing the right thing, was a regular attendee at these events. The question on everyone's mind is, what would make someone like Steve risk everything to keep things quiet? Sources claim that Diddy wasn't just hosting these lavish parties for fun. He was secretly collecting dirt on the high-profile celebrities who attended. One particular incident allegedly involved Steve Harvey, who was caught on camera in a compromising position. Diddy reportedly had hidden cameras set up throughout his home, recording every move of his guests. These parties were not casual social gatherings, they were traps, elaborate setups to gain leverage over those in attendance. Steve, who attended multiple parties, found himself on the wrong end of Diddy's lens. The details of what Diddy captured remain fuzzy, but insiders suggest it was scandalous enough to keep Steve in check for years. Diddy has always had a knack for power plays, understanding that leverage over powerful individuals is the ultimate insurance policy. Once he realized what he had on Steve, he didn't hesitate to exploit it. Reports have even surfaced that Diddy blackmailed Steve, demanding favors and business opportunities. But it gets wilder. The whispers coming from Hollywood suggest that Diddy didn't just stop at money and business deals. It's rumored that he demanded something even more unthinkable Lori Harvey, Steve's stepdaughter. The lawsuit against Diddy claims that he exerted control over people's lives, allegedly beating them and hiding them away until the signs of abuse were gone. Lori, then in her early 20s, became a fixture at celebrity events around the same time Diddy and Steve were reportedly butting heads behind the scenes. Although Lori and Diddy have denied rumors of a romantic relationship, the timing and circumstances have raised many eyebrows. Diddy knew he had Steve exactly where he wanted him. Steve, a man who prided himself on his public image, was caught in a tangled web. Why didn't Steve just walk away or go public sooner? The answer may lie in the extent of Diddy's influence. If Steve had come forward, he would have had to face the fallout from whatever compromising footage Diddy had on him. For someone whose reputation was built on being a charming, wise, and relatable figure, the potential damage was too great. Beyond the leverage of potential scandal, Diddy allegedly demanded that Steve use his influence to help him with legal issues, make connections, and even launder money through his businesses. It's hard to reconcile this with the Steve Harvey, the public knows the man preaching about ethics, values, and the importance of making the right choices. The whispers suggest that Steve wasn't just Diddy's friend, he was his pawn. Whenever Diddy needed help, Steve was the go-to man to clean up the mess, no questions asked. In an unexpected twist, Steve eventually approached the FBI, painting himself as a victim coerced by Diddy into doing things he never wanted to do. According to insiders, Steve claimed that Diddy had forced him into a corner and manipulated him for years. But the question remains, 
Was Steve really just a victim, or was he playing both sides all along? The celebrity world was thrown into turmoil as news of Steve's involvement with the FBI broke. On the surface, it might seem like Steve had no choice but to cooperate. With Diddy behind bars and the FBI closing in, anyone in Steve's position would have been looking for an escape route. However, the reality is that Steve had been complicit for years. He knew what Diddy was up to and stayed silent, whether out of fear of blackmail or because he was benefiting from the arrangement. Steve was part of the problem, and now, with Diddy's arrest and secrets spilling out, he's scrambling to distance himself. What's most disturbing is how Steve maintained his public persona through it all. While allegedly entangled in Diddy's schemes, he continued hosting talk shows, writing self-help books, and mentoring young people. It's a classic case of someone presenting one face to the world while hiding another entirely. The cracks in his carefully crafted image are now beginning to show. Even as Steve tries to navigate through this mess, the real question is what happens next? Will the public forgive him once more details emerge? Or will this be the scandal that finally brings down his empire? His cooperation with the FBI could save him from the legal fallout, but not from the court of public opinion. The revelations so far paint a troubling picture of a man who may have used his influence for all the wrong reasons. Meanwhile, Diddy's situation has only gotten worse. Facing a laundry list of charges, including racketeering, corruption, and new claims that are just beginning to surface, he is caught in a legal storm that threatens to destroy his empire. For years, Diddy built an image of a suave businessman, but now that image is in shambles. His lawyers are working overtime to paint him as the victim of a witch hunt, yet the evidence against him appears overwhelming. One of the most explosive pieces of evidence is the surveillance footage, which reportedly shows Diddy engaged in acts that align with many of the allegations made by those close to him. With the FBI involved and properties raided, the investigation is far from over. Diddy's future looks grim, especially since he's been denied bail. The judge ruled that he poses too much of a risk to the public and potential witnesses, suspecting that he might try to tamper with evidence or intimidate those involved. As Diddy sits in jail, the fallout continues to spread. Steve, despite trying to present himself as a victim, is under scrutiny. If Diddy decides to cooperate with authorities to reduce his sentence, he could take down others with him. And who's to say that Steve Harvey isn't one of those people? Diddy may have more dirt on Steve than the public currently knows. Steve's move to cooperate with the FBI might seem strategic, but he may still be far from clearing his name. Steve's public image is now at stake. He has always projected the persona of a stand-up comedian, entertainer, television host, family man, and a man of faith. But now, his association with Diddy and the secrets he may be hiding threaten to dismantle everything he has built. The layers of deceit, manipulation, and betrayal run deep, and as more information comes to light, the more precarious Steve's situation becomes. Fast forward to the present, and Diddy is facing the biggest legal battle of his life. His arrest came after months of rumors, lawsuits, and shocking allegations, including accusations of running illegal operations and coercing people into situations they couldn't escape from. The surveillance footage is just one piece of the mounting evidence against him, but it's enough to potentially devastate his defense. Diddy's lawyers are fighting back, claiming that he is a self-made entrepreneur and loving family man who is the victim of baseless, politically motivated accusations. However, the FBI has raided multiple properties and seized files and computers, indicating that they are building a strong case against him. For now, Diddy remains in jail, awaiting his day in court. The public has also been quick to judge. Steve Harvey, once seen as the